Hi, in this video I'm going to take you through a tutorial to create your first Windows application in C Sharp. So we're using Visual Studio 2019 and looking at the Microsoft tutorial page. Our goal for this video is to get to the end of this section called Create a Windows Forms App. So let's see what it's going to look like. Let's scroll down a ways. You're going to see we're going to have a Windows Form that looks like this. We're going to put a button on it and then we're going to put a message on the screen that says hello world when we click the button this message will change so a pretty simple app but it's a great way to get started with Visual Studio so I'm going to switch back into Visual Studio you can see that I've got a program open and this was called calculator app so I'm going to move on to the next app I'm gonna to go to file choose new project and let's choose a Windows app so at this time instead of console I'm going to choose desktop and let's see what my choices are. So I want something called a Windows Forms app with a .NET framework using the C Sharp language. So in a previous video I said there's lots of other options you could use. One called WPF, another one called Universal, but we're looking for this guy here called a Windows Forms app with .NET C Sharp. Okay, get all that and you got yourself a starting point. Now we've got ourselves the, the name here, so Windows Forms app. I'm going to call this thing Hello World, and I'm going to call it Win Forms. You can name it anything you want, and uh, just uh, as you can see, I'm not using spaces. I'm just kind of a habit of doing that with computer uh, things. They don't always like spaces. You can check all the rest of the stuff here if you need to, and let's create. All right, so the application is up and running. Now right away, you're going to notice a few things different than the previous program. So first of all, the toolbox. Look at all these nice little toys that we have to play with. The project and the solution has a program and now this thing called Form 1. So let's uh, just click the green button and see what comes up here. So we should see ourselves Form 1. All right, so you can see our program is up and running. We have Form 1. We can move it around. We can resize it. We can maximize it. We can restore it and minimize and just everything you can do with a program except for actually anything useful. So I'm going to close it. Now we want to put some things on it. So you can experiment just by dragging things from the toolbox onto the form and then see what they look like when you run it. So let's try a button. Now let's put in two buttons. And let's put in a checkbox. And let's try a list view. And let's see what else there is. There's all kinds of things. A radio button. All right, so we got all these tools and toys to play with. What do they look like? Let's run the program. All right, so here's the program. It doesn't look very great. So the list box has nothing in it. You can check the radio button. You can check the check box. You can click the buttons. Uh, they're actually uh, probably too small. The text is uh, hiding. But uh, the, the ease of use of WinForms is so obvious here. You just drag things on and they appear. Now, you have to do the programming, of course, and that's what we're going to do next. So let's, uh, let's delete a bunch of stuff here. I'm going to just select this item. Don't double click it. Um, just delete it by clicking once and then pressing the delete on your keyboard. Okay, so it doesn't want to delete. I'm going to right click and choose delete. There we go. Let's try the uh, button. Apparently I have to do right click and delete uh, my Macintosh keyboard doesn't translate like I expected it. Okay, so I'm deleting. And let's uh, now resize this button. So let's put it in the center of the screen. And uh, then let's change the text. Right now it says button one. So the things that you can change on buttons are called properties. So if I scroll over to the right side here, you've, you can see I've got all kinds of things that I can change. So I'm looking for the property called text. And I'm gonna put in the word hello. And I'm gonna say click me. You can put anything you want there. Uh, if you want to experiment, you can try the different colors. So if you want a different, uh, different scheme, you can change the text color. Uh, you can change fonts, all kinds of things that can be changed here. So just up to your imagination. Okay, so experiment with all the different types here. Now I'm going to change the name of this guy. So let's go and find the property called name. So here it is. Design is the section name is called button one now it's common that we would change these names I'm gonna put BTN underscore hello now BTN obviously stands for button 
And when you start programming, it's a good idea to use prefixes like BTN for button. Uh, if I had a label on the screen, I would call it LBL. A radio button, I would probably put RDR or something. So you get to make up your own schema. But this is pretty standard stuff here to change the name to BTN underscore hello. Now I'm going to change something on the screen. So I'm going to I need something to change. I'm going to put a label out here. So let's see. The label comes out and the text is label 1. So now the uh, the label 1 is out and the name of the label. So like I said before, I'm going to use a prefix, LBL, and I'm going to call it hello message. So that seems to make sense to me. I'm going to press enter. Now the text itself, let's go and find the text property. Is there a text property? There it is. So for right now, I'm going to set it to nothing. I'm going to just press enter and it'll clear it out. So the label is an empty string. Now I want to modify the label. Let's double click on the button now and you see a new screen appear. It says form1.cs. If you want to switch back to the designer, you can switch back in these tabs here. You can also right click on the form1 and you can choose view code and that'll bring you to the code. You can right click on here and choose view designer and it'll take you here. So I'm going to double click here again and now I have a function. Let's look at here. This is a function that is now going to be programmed. So the rest of the stuff you can ignore for now. All of our action is going to happen in here. So this says in this method called btn hello click. That means whenever this button is clicked, what we're going to do is change the property of something. So I'm going to change the property of my label. So I'm going to type in the word LBL and the help comes across here. It says, hey, I noticed you have LBL help hello message. So it's probably what you want, right? Yes, it is. And I'm going to type in a period after that and set the word for text. T-E-X-T. -E I can just press enter and I can put in a string. So I'm going to put in two quotation marks and something inside there. And I'm going to just say, nice to meet you. And then I'm going to run the program. All right, here's the program. It's up and running. I click on hello, and now I get nice to meet you. Okay, that's cool. I'm going to do something else. I'm going to put in another button and just uh, give you some ideas on what to experiment with. So here I'm going back to design. I'm going to drag another button on the screen and I'm going to name him something else. So for the text, I'm going to say uh, change color. And for the name of the button, I'm going to give this thing a different name. So let's go down to here instead of BT, let's call it BTN1 change color. And I'm going to double click here. And you can see now I have a second routine. It says this was button hello click. Now this is button change color click. And I'm going to literally change the color of the label. So let's do label and let's see if we can change. Is there a color? There is something called for color. Let's, let's try that. For color equals. And now I need some value. I think, I think we can just type in the word color dot. And let's see. There are different previews. So let's try red. Okay. So that might work. Let's see what happens. Okay, so the program is up and running. I'm going to click hello, and then I'm going to try change color, and sure enough, it changed to red. Now, I can't change it back because I've only programmed one way. Uh, I need another button or some other function to change the color to something else. But that's the neat part about programming is that you are the superhero. You get to program the robot to do anything you want. So experiment is all you want here and work with labels and colors and properties. You can change the font size. You can change the text itself. So the limitation is you and your imagination. So this is probably a good place to stop. I'm looking here at what they showed you in the tutorial, a really simple Hello World app. But yeah, take it from there and see what you can learn. So that is your second application, your first one with a graphical user interface.